Ahead of his rally in Pennsylvania Monday, former President Donald Trump visited a grocery store northeast of Pittsburgh, where he decried the jump in food prices since the pandemic, and sidestepped a question about whether he would agree to a second debate with Kamala Harris. Trump is visiting the Keystone State and trying to drive his economic message against Vice President Kamala Harris, arguing that imposing tariffs and boosting energy production will lower costs. He has highlighted Harris's reversal of a previous vow to ban fracking, a method of producing natural gas key to Pennsylvania's economy. When asked about another debate with Harris, the former president pointed to positive poll numbers from voters in the Southwest in a new New York Times-Siena College poll. However, he sidestepped the question, saying he had great success with debate, and that President Biden dropped out of the race following the their debate in June. Harris says she will deliver a speech on Wednesday outlining her economic vision. She has previously said she'd push for middle-class tax cuts and tax hikes on the wealthy and corporations. Harris adopted Trump's proposal to end taxes on tipped wages, though she'd limit her plan to low- and middle-income taxpayers. She's also criticized Trump's plan to impose large tariffs on most imported goods, which she says would severely raise the cost of goods. Neither Harris nor Trump has a decisive edge with the public on the economy, according to the latest poll by the Associated Press NRC Center for Public Affairs Research. The survey suggests Harris is gaining ground on an issue that was once a clear strength for Trump. Chicken is way up, canned fruits are up 27 percent, butter is up 30 percent, crackers, who would think of it, crackers, crackers are up 40 percent. Oh, that's terrible. She won't do an interview because one of two reasons. One reason is she's not very smart. The other reason is she doesn't know how to talk about inflation. But they caused inflation at a number that nobody can believe. I've done two debates. We've had great success with the debates. I've done many debates, I think 21 altogether, but I've done two. Uh, had Biden, and after that he had to drop out. He shouldn't have dropped out, to be honest. He got 14 million votes. She got none. He dropped out. We had a very successful second debate, and based on the numbers, because if you saw the numbers today that were just released even by the New York Times, we picked up Arizona, way up in Arizona, and Four people were killed and 17 others injured when multiple shooters opened fire Saturday in what police described as a targeted hit on one of the people killed at a popular nightlife spot in Birmingham, Alabama. The shooting happened shortly after 11 p.m. Saturday in Five Points South, a district filled with entertainment venues, restaurants, and bars that is often crowded on weekend nights. The mass shooting, one of several this year in the city, unnerved residents in the area and left city officials pleading for help to both solve the crime and address the broader problem of gun violence. The priority is to find these shooters and get them off our streets, Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin said at a Sunday press conference. The shooting occurred on the sidewalk and street outside Hush, a lounge in the entertainment district. Blood stains were visible on the sidewalk outside the venue on Sunday morning. Birmingham Police Chief Scott Thurmond said authorities believe the shooting targeted one of the people who was killed, possibly in a murder for hire. He said a vehicle pulled up and, multiple shooters, got out and began firing, then fled the scene. 